Hey there guys, so I have another unboxing video for you. I'm going to be unboxing my all-time favourite power metal album. This album is a masterpiece from start to finish. <clears throat> this is the um, Reloaded Edition. I do have the Standard Edition. I've got the 20th Anniversary box set with the discs, various discs. I do have the um, box set which is um, all their studio albums up to Revolution. And then I have the um, standard vinyl and the 20th anniversary vinyl um, as well. I'm looking for the picture discs because I want that in my collection. But um, I'm an immensely huge Hammerfall fan. I've seen them twice. No Sacrifice, No Victory Tour. And then it was a built to last. And they're incredible both times. Massive fan. But this was in HMV for like £8. And I thought, I don't have the reloaded edition. Which is a different version and I thought I must get this in my collection. That artwork is absolutely gorgeous. Got the back patch for my Power Symphonic um, cut. But next year they're coming over with um, Halloween to the UK. And they're doing two dates. Manchester and London. So I'm going to see both bands twice. And I absolutely cannot wait. Because I'm obviously a big fan of both. I'm actually wearing my Steel 10 Years of Glory um, hoodie. Which I had quite a while. Hammerfall. Um, I've had it quite a while. I've just pre-ordered their new album. Hammer of Dawn off Nuclear Blast. I pre-ordered the wooden box edition. And then when I get a moment. I'm going on their official store. I'm going to pre-order the Hammer of Dawn shirt. Obviously off Nuclear Blast. is a different shirt. Then on their store there's another one. And I will be getting the different versions of the vinyl. And also um, the CD version. Different versions of it. Absolutely cannot wait. I've listened to the title track off the new album Hammer of Dawn because the promo video I played the song about 30 times so far. I really can't wait. So yeah, let me show you this version. That is such iconic artwork and in the back with the full track listing. And my favourite Hammerfall song is on this album, which is my time favourite Hammerfall song, which is um, The Dragon Lies Bleeding. Absolutely fantastic start to finish. When I seen them in Wolverhampton, they actually played it and I... Physically went nuts. I'll show you the disc. There's the disc with Hector on the disc. Then you have the the band. Let me get this book out and whatnot and show you. This is going to be a bit of a um, pain to try and get this book out. This is just telling you about um, the stuff like Infected. Infected is my least played Hammerfall album. It's not that the album's bad. It's just, you know, it's my least played Hammerfall because it's their weakest album in my eyes. But um, they haven't made a bad album. There is some songs on there which are absolutely fantastic, like Bang Your Head and also 666, The Enemy Within. But it is just their weakest album in my eyes. That was easy to get out of the book. Let me show you this book. Glory to the brave. There's Oscar Droniak and Yosim Kand with lyrics. Then we have Frederick Larson and Glenn Lungstrom. Then Jesper Strom, Stromblad on drums and Patrick Rafflin is the original, is a drummer on the album. It was up to the Legacy of Kings and then after the Legacy of Kings, I think it was after Legacy of Kings, he left the band and then um, obviously Anders Johansson came in and was in there up until I think it was um, Revolution and then he left and they now have David Valin. I think his name's David Valin. Then there's the. Um, the back with the Hammerfall logo. I've got Omteen Hammerfall shirts, hoodies and stuff like that. Because I've been collecting everything over the years. Also a, a figure on my shelf which is still sealed of Hector. Which I got when I pre-ordered the Built to Last. Because I had the um, wooden box edition of Built to Last with the canvas print and the figure. And I've not opened them. So they're still sealed. So yeah, this has been Hammerfall. Glory to the Brave. Best power metal album ever made. I know a few people disagree but... It's my all-time favourite album. Start to finish, it's just a masterpiece. Anyway, the first three studio albums are incredible. And after that, all the albums are good. It's just the first three albums I can play all the way through non-stop. 
I will put a link in the description for this band. So say if the artwork piques your interest or anything like that. And if you're curious of what about Glory to the Brave. I do recommend giving this album a listen if you haven't checked them out. It is a masterpiece. Um, as I've said I do in my other videos. I do run a group on Facebook dedicated to Hammerfall. Gamma Ray, Twilight Force, Halloween, Sonata Arctic and Nightwish, Iced Earth. It's power metal, symphonic metal, epic metal, fantasy metal, neoclassical metal, traditional metal, apathetic metal and it's all fantasy based like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, which um, a lot of Hammerfall stuff is about, um, they sing a lot about Game of Thrones, like Take the Black, and um, also the album Chapter 5 and Bent Unbowed Unbroken. So yeah, feel free to join my Power Symphonic group on Facebook, just don't remember to agree to the rules, just like no racism, keep the group calm and friendly and that sort of stuff. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm just about to do two more unboxing videos because I've just done about six or seven and then I will be posting them up for the next coming weeks because I just unboxed a great power metal band, Love Bites, and also um, I just did Eternity's End, which is their latest studio album, which I'm posting that up for everybody to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I'll see you in the next one. I absolutely cannot wait. I'm going to go and play this version now. I know the extra stuff you get, um, the bonus track is Raven Lord, which is on their Masterpiece album. Enhanced part is a video clip for Glory to the Brave, but I'm curious. Which video clip? Is it the first one or the second one? Because I know there's two different video clips. Photo gallery, e-card, whatever that is, and wallpaper, which obviously the wallpaper is going to be Glory to the Brave. And obviously probably photos of the band. So see you in the next unboxing video. Take care and stay safe.